All right, this next drill is called um, the wing transition. Uh, starts out of uh, potentially a 2v1 off of the wing on one side or the other. Um, you can see it's set up in a full field format, attack and be in both ends. Um, you have two of one color um, middies, long stick middies, face off guys on one side um, with one line of the opposite color. All right, here you got red and green, uh, and then that mirror uh, on the other side that flips. So on this side, you got two green uh, on the outside with one red in the middle. All right, so you alternate which side of the middies are released. Um, so we'll start with this side over here. Coach can be here in the, uh, um, behind the players with a ball so that the ball is rolling towards the middle of the field. You can start in the middle, the ball's rolling at them. Uh, there's a lot, of, I like this drill a lot because you can do many different layers to it. Um, the initial layer is just a, a clear transition look. Um, so if the ball were to come out, all right, one from each line is released, all right, two red, one green, all right, for um, sake of the drill, say the red team picks it up, they are then transitioning this way into their offensive end, all right, which equates into a five versus four uh, fast break. All right, but you get some good action in the middle here with the ground balls. Uh, you can start these lines five yards apart. You can start them close together. All right, so you're working on man-ball uh, relationships and being able to get it. Um, in this scenario, the red has earned the ball. And they're coming down into a 5v4. You want to start your attack and defense at the top of the box so that they break down into their positions and get set up and read the break and see what it looks like. Um, if the green um, player from this side were to pick up the ball, um, how we do it a lot of the times is if the green picks it up and they go down that way, uh, we'll have the red middies pull back and it just creates a 4v3 all right, going that way as opposed to the 5v4 all right, coming down this way with the red team uh, picking it up. All right, you just play out the break either way. Um, if the offensive team scores, it's done. If the defensive team gets a knockdown, uh, they can uh, move up field to simulate the start of the clear, and you can end it at, at that if you'd like. The wing transition drill is a fun, scrappy drill. Uh, the players enjoy doing it. Uh, really does a, a great job of creating um, either half field or, or free flow and full field. Uh, transitional reps. Um, you can script things uh, basic out of a 4 and 3 or 5v4 uh, with paying attention to more of just the, the ground ball into the half field uh, transition reps or allow it to go from one end of the field to the other end of the field uh, incorporating uh, other people getting into the mix out of the um, shot and save or ground ball turnover situations and allow for a little bit more free-flowing play uh, starting off with some um, ground ball work which uh, is always important for uh, teams to incorporate into practice and then uh, always breeding uh, the hustle and communication read and react uh, to different scenarios and the fundamental skill work associated with ground ball play transition play both offensively defensively uh, and clearing work uh, incorporated into it all uh, really in, involves a lot of different um, tools for uh, the game of lacrosse and gets guys moving in an up-tempo fashion so they got to think fast and then make good decisions uh, while doing that. Here we have our wing transition drill. It's uh, strictly going to be either a 5v4 or a 4v3. Um, you can see the, the ground ball action coming out of the wings uh, leading into uh, whichever team uh, colored team earns possession that's what it, uh, that midfielder transitions into the offensive end you get some good action in the middle of the field with some ground ball work with the middies and then they transition down uh, working on your offensive transition looks as well as your defensive transition rotations and calls um, really provide some some good opportunity to, to get good ground ball play uh, reads through the midfield uh, in regards to man ball opportunities and and you know a, a one man having to, to fight against two to earn a tough ground ball and to hopefully earn his team a 4v3 um, you know here's a 4v3 coming down and good ball movement um, 
you know, players moving the ball well uh, against the defense and executing. Here's another layer to the wing transition drill. Uh, the setup is the same. Uh, so you get 2v1 off of both wings uh, with attack and D at both ends. Uh, the wrinkle here is that you're allowing any save or um, inbounds turnover to be transitioned back the other way. So anytime that the goalie makes a stop or the defense gets a knockdown or a pick pass or a ground ball uh, and it's inbounds, uh, they are looking upfield to um, the lowest midi uh, from the opposite side where the ball came from, breaking back to the goalie to get the outlet pass and then transition the ball to the other end, um, working into different break scenarios. So here's the goalie. He makes a save. He's looking high and away towards the midi breaking back. Uh, the white midi uh, was late recognizing so they're trailing the play, getting back into the hole. And once it transitions into the other end, uh, you, you can look to stop it. Um, and then the, the rep restarts on the other side and they look to go uh, again out of the two on one. Uh, the black team here picks it up. They come down into a five on four scenario. They rep out um, and get a look here. Uh, shot goes into the goalie stick. He looks opposite into his same colored midfielder breaking down and he gets into a, a 4v3 look and they get a good transition back the other way. Um, it keeps the midfielders on their toes after their rep, um, you know, for any kind of turnover or bad shot and save, uh, kind of trains them to turn and get back into the hole. It allows your goalie to get some good reps, getting the ball upfield in um, clearing passes and you get a little bit more full field action uh, into it all and allows your team to um, work on the transition pieces of the game uh, and you get different looks that way here's a ground ball that works towards the angle on a side and then the ball comes in from the side so it's not right down the middle you know the defense has to recognize that and then play to um, to that and be able to communicate who's going to slide or, or if we're going to hold the rotation uh, that it's immediate outlet the other way and working the four and three break and do they do a great job there recognizing the skip pass because the defenseman base defenseman uh, got caught sliding over too early here the white team gets it uh, the black team doesn't recognize which side of the field he's on um, so he's late getting into the hole, but they get back in. Uh, they just don't get to good spots there. Some good ground ball play here in the middle of the field. Uh, white team comes up with it. Uh, black team, point defenseman, recognizes he's got to try to stop the ball. Uh, then it's immediate outlet. White guy's hustling back into the hole. Black guy's trying to beat him in into the transition look. The defenseman holds uh, and challenges the the mate that brings it down to have to think to make a play. Some more good ground ball play in the middle of the field. Defense has to recognize uh, what kind of break it is. Offense has to recognize and, and get into their formation as well and look to execute in, in quick early offense. Pretty dangerous skip pass there, but it gets through. Here's another layer to the wing transition drill. Uh, the same setup as before, uh, only in this one, um, it's gonna go into one end and then uh, we're gonna release two middies uh, once the play is over. So here, a shot and goal. The goalie immediately turns, picks up a ball out of the cage and outlets it to one of two middies that are breaking back to him. So um, each, each goalie has a bunch of balls in the cage. And if it's a shot and a goal, if it's a shot out of bounds, if it's a turnover, um, you know, off the initial, uh, the initial rep, they're immediately picking up a ball and outletting it to um, one of their middies breaking back. And they'll have outlets on both sides of the field. 
And then the middies that are already in play are hustling back into the hole all right, to either generate offense and a transition look or get back into the hole and play some tough defense in a transition look. Um, so if it starts out of a five on or a four on three going into one end, um, once that play is over, that rep is over, the goalie picks it up and outlets it, it turns into a five on four all right, going the other way. So if it was a four on three with the white team having the advantage, once that rep is over, it would be going the other way, a five on four with a black team having the advantage. And conversely, if it starts with a five on four with the white team having the advantage, uh, once that rep is over, it would be going back the other way with a six on five with the black team having the advantage. Uh, so you rep it out where it goes one way to start, um, in the four on three, five on four look. And then once that rep is over, it transitions back the other way. And then uh, once that rep is over, you blow it dead and then you uh, restart it at the other side um, with the other middies on the other side and just keep flipping back and forth with them. Uh, so here you see um, kind of a five on four break, um, getting into a, a five on five with a trail offensive midi turning into a six on five. Um, gives a little pump fake and shot wide. One more variation of the wing transition drill is uh, having the coach dictate where the ball goes. It doesn't always have to go to the middies in the middle uh, like we've been doing. Uh, he can roll it down towards the box. He can put it down into the alley inside the box. Um, he really has control of, of where that ball starts. And then obviously it's up to the players to um, you know battle for it and, and earn that tough ground ball. Uh, you can set the parameters where the attack and defenders have to stay inside the box until possession or until the ball enters the box uh, like it is on off of a face-off. Um, or you could have it just be uh, once the ball is loose, it's fair game for everybody. Um, just having the one side of the middies that is starting um, the rep. So say it's this near side 2v1, um, they're the only middies in play but you would be able to let the attack and defense attack the ball outside the box uh, if it's heading down towards their end. Uh, so there's a lot of different uh, ways you can, um, you know, in incorporate different looks into this segment uh, with allowing the ground ball to be uh, initially pushed out one way or the other or in the middle of the field and create some different scenarios. Again, trying to recreate different looks, uh, what happened in, in a game and have your players uh, read and react to them, uh, be comfortable in them, and, and obviously ultimately be successful in them. Uh, for this drill that we're doing here, we're just repping it out into one end. So whichever end uh, earns the ground ball, we rep that out and then blow it dead and reset and then start the ball from the other side. Uh, but again, it could start in the middle like it is here or the ball could end up going down towards one end or the other. Uh, here, our defenseman in the middle of the field has a tough, a tough time handling the ball. Um, so it's a little bit of a slower five on four coming down into the into the white offensive end. Uh, move the ball around and don't, you know, they don't get a great look, but they end up scoring on it. Uh, and then we're going to start the ball from the other side here. And it rolls into the box. There's a play on because um, one of the defenders stepped off side or stepped over the box, uh, just repping out the initial clear. You know, just trying to get the uh, the defensive clearing rep in there, uh, and they did a good job executing that. So five on four coming down into the box, uh, trailing midi hangs out over the top, surveys. And skip back across and they do a good job finishing the rep on that thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed these videos uh, feel free to contact me with any questions uh, that may come up uh, thank you to coach Shamadi and the university of richmond staff for establishing coaching through cancellation it's a wonderful resource uh, for everyone involved in lacrosse and, and during these very challenging times please continue to look out for one another stay safe and healthy